Land of the free, Mushroom Rock. exactly what it is about these open barren wastelands if you will I hear it time and time again as people complain about driving through empty brownness just endless sagebrush but there's something about these places something about this open land that draws a spark in my soul it makes me feel alive the Golden Spike National Historical Park commemorates the completion of the first transcontinental railroad. After the Civil War, connecting the two coasts, the East Coast and the West Coast, became an utmost importance. The Central Pacific Railroad began construction in Sacramento and worked eastward, while the Union Pacific Railroad started in Omaha, Nebraska, working westward. The Central Pacific broke ground in January of 1863, by 1869, the Central Pacific and the Union Pacific passed each other as they continued working to be paid extra money and get extra land subsidies from the government. But Congress finally declared the meeting place of the two railroads to be Promontory Summit. And on May 10, 1869, the Central Pacific's Jupiter and the Union Pacific's number 119 pulled up to the one rail gap left in the track, and that is where a golden spike was driven to commemorate the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad. This is a second stop here on our little adventure today, which brings us out to the Spiral Jetty, which is a man-made rock formation at the north end of the Great Salt Lake. Now, uh, while we were here, I wanted to take a moment to explain why it is that I'm doing this. Why are we out here filming our little adventures? We hope to inspire other families and other people to get out and enjoy this beautiful land that we get to live in. Hopefully you can take some ideas from our little adventures and get out on your own and have some fun and create some memories. Now, uh, there's a whole group of people here you can see that have come out and they're SUVs or in their cars for that matter and uh, you don't need a, um, a Jeep Gladiator with 40 inch tires to get out and do these fun things that, that we do. Hopefully um, you can see that yeah, just, a, just a regular vehicle can, can get out and you don't need fancy equipment or just the you just need to make the time and put in the effort. So hopefully you can get out and enjoy the land of the free. The Spiral Jetty is an earthwork sculpture constructed in April 1970 that is considered to be the central work of American sculptor Robert Smithson. Built on the northeastern shore of the Great Salt Lake near Roselle Point in Utah entirely of mud, salt crystals, basalt rocks, and water. Spiral Jetty forms a 1,500 foot long, 15 foot wide counterclockwise coil jetting from the shore of the lake. The sculpture is sometimes visible and sometimes submerged, depending on the water levels of the Great Salt Lake.
this is Monument Point, a prominent landform visible uh, along the northern shore of the Great Salt Lake. And in the distance, you can see Lone Rock. Now there is a, a picture that we'll get to that shows the Jupiter, the Central Pacific's uh, locomotive as it uh, passes Lone Rock in May of 1869, carrying prominent people to the ceremony for the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad on May 10th of 1869. <music> So we've made a quick little stop here at Lone Rock. Uh, it's really just a little point of interest we saw on the map and stopped and looked to, to get the historic information. Um, but unfortunately what we came across here instead was a bunch of, let me see if we can turn it around here, just a bunch of shotgun shells everywhere. So. You know, we like to say, get out, enjoy the land of the free, and that's great. Do it. But clean up after yourself. You know, I'll leave all these places better than, than you found them. You know, make sure that the next people can come and enjoy the wilderness the way that you found it. Be a good steward and take care of nature that uh, we've been given and the the right and the ability to come and see these beautiful places. having a good time? Yeah. It's too rocky to throw some discs, but we can throw the other well, one that my mom has. It. So, yeah. Okay, it has been a real race against time to try to get here before the sun goes down, but one of the places that we really wanted to show you today is uh, these crazy rock formations one of my buddies found about last year, and we call it Mushroom Rock. <laughs> Quite often as you're out exploring back roads and back country, you'll come across these gates that have um, just wire across. And the standard is to leave it the way you found it. So we came across this gate and it's closed. We'll open it up, go through, close it back up. Um, if you find them open, leave them open. Ranchers want them the way that they've left.
Hey Luke, what mm -hmm. you got going on there? Um, I'm smoking some tiny smokies. Levi, what you got on yours? Uh, a normal kind that is like destroyed and little smokies. They're just half. <laughs> They're just halves. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> this more is really good. It was golden crisp on a little bit of it. Just perfect. Okay, I hope you enjoyed our journey this evening and uh, throughout the day. As always, get out and enjoy the land of the free. Well, the cookies didn't survive. How come? Well, because we jumped the Jeep. Do you remember? Remember that part?